Hi everyone, I'm the art toy advocate, Nick Curtis, and right now you're watching me play a game of chess. For those of you that are chess aficionados, you might recognize where the game being played is leading, to the quite famous and fast endgame gambit known as the Sea Cadet Mate. But of more note than the moves being used is the pieces that are being played with. This is Artist Otto Bjornik's Shaw Matt Designer Toy Set. Bjornik's love of chess began with his father, the two of them spending hours playing against each other. As an illustrator, Bjornik first explored giving life an individual character to chess pieces through a series he titled Shaw Matt. Named after the Farsi phrase for the king is helpless, which led to the term checkmate. It wouldn't be long before Bjornik evolved this concept further. Upon discovering the art toy movement, Bjornik began using vinyl forms, like Kid Robot's Dunny, as canvases for his art, incorporating his own sculptural elements onto them. He released Shaw Matt II, the Great Sartorial Conundrum, in late 2011. With all the vinyl figures modified and hand-painted by Bjornik, it was a beautiful, one-of-a-kind work that garnered the artist much attention. And to satisfy continued interest, Bjornik handmade small editions in 2012 of the kings and queens in both 3-inch and 9-inch tall versions. These original works allowed Bjornik to craft a narrative for his chess pieces, one that would give a greater unity to the art. He envisioned a battle between the scarf-wearing whites and the belt-strapped blacks, each trying to prove their king's claim as the supreme wearer of the checkered cloth. Taking place on the fields of Sarib, named after his father's hometown in the Philippines, this cohesive vision can still be seen on this production version from Kid Robot. The company approached Bjornik in 2014 to design four pawns for a proposed multi-artist series, one that would have included works by the likes of Nathan Gervicius, Frank Kozik, Kronk, Jerry Maddell, 64 Colors, and Scott Tolson. While that chess-themed series was abandoned, it did lead the way for this solo miniseries. All these individual pieces use the Dunny's basic form, though they have been modified to truly express Bjornik's aesthetic. The rooks are the closest to the traditional Dunny shape, relying on the addition of boots, a helmet, a bow, and quiver of arrows to wonderfully make the sculptural forms unique. The cloaked kings and queens look very similar to Bjornik's 2014 Maiari Dunny, though the sculpted trim element is new here. The knights, in contrast to those legless designs, are armored centaurs, each holding aloft a lance. And finally, the staff-wielding bishops and knife-carrying pawns, both using the same basic body, the rabbit-like dunny head atop a legless base, implying either a robe or dress adorning them. All these pieces employ Bjornik's strikingly minimalist style, the beautifully painted bold eyes really granting character and soul to each figure. Now, you might have noticed that all the pawns are female, and this isn't a coincidence. The series is subtitled A Deadly Race to the Eighth Square, referencing the perilous journey a pawn must make across the board to reach the other side. And once there, the pawn is transformed by chess rules into the noble figure of the player's choice, which, most commonly, is the queen. Any socio-political implications aside, the tale of the pawn becoming a queen is a fascinating one and a great focal point for the series. 
the Shaw Matt series was issued in a blind box manner, meaning that the contents of what you're buying are hidden at the time of purchase. Unlike the normal one piece per box, which I discussed in my review of Amanda Vassell's Ferrell's line, these were sold in two packs, each containing one pawn and one nobility figure, as well as four of the interlocking tiles used to create this board. And while it might look large, this chessboard is actually 18 inches by 18 inches solidly within the standard sizes one normally finds. The works were created in ratioed editions that perfectly reflect the pieces on the chessboard. Four rooks per 32 boxes, as well as four bishops, four knights, two queens, and... Hmm. The ratio for the king seems off. That's because there was also a secret figure randomly inserted in some boxes. King Midas, a golden-colored king figure named after the man cursed with turning everything he touched into gold in Greek mythology. Aside from the blind-boxed method, there are signed and numbered edition sets of Shamat that come complete save for the Midas piece. Also of note is that Kid Robot has issued a 20-inch tall production dunny from Bjornik. It's titled Reina. The Filipino word for queen, and its design is a true upscaling of the piece from this set. Otto Bjornik's Shaw Matt series and Rain of Dunny are available now from specialty shops worldwide, as well as from kidrobot.com directly. Thank you for watching me, Nick Curtis, the Art Toy Advocate. Let me know your thoughts on Otto Bjornik's Shaw Matt series by commenting below as well as liking or disliking this video on YouTube. And please remember to subscribe to the CoArt YouTube channel to be kept up to date on my reviews.